Alright. Take note that everything I am doing here only applies to an old PLDT fiber home router, model HG6245D, or sometimes also referred to as model RP2602 or RP2613. If you have a different router brand or model, or even if the old router is from a different provider, the steps I'm showing here will probably not work for you. The first thing to do is of course, turn on your router. Then look for the reset poke hole, which for this model is located at the left side. Let's poke it for about 10 seconds. I'm using an old reliable toothpick here. When you release the reset button, some LED lights will turn off, which means the reset process has started. This will take about a minute to finish. When the WLAN LED lights are on, the reset is finished, and we can begin our setup. But before we begin, take note of the details in the stickers at the back of the router. We will need these information later, especially the default SSID name and password. Okay. Let's switch to my laptop now. You can do the setup from your phone or a PC. I'm using a laptop for this. As indicated in the back sticker of the router, we should be able to see the Wi-Fi SSID from the available connection list here. We should connect to that. The password can also be found from the back sticker. Okay. We are now connected. It will have no internet connection, and that's good and expected. We don't have an IP address in the router sticker, so we will need to get that manually. Just open a command prompt, then type in the command IP config, without space, then hit enter. From the list, look for default gateway. This value will be the IP address we need to go to, to access the router's configuration page. That will be 192.168.1.1. If you are having an issue accessing the default gateway, try using another browser. Let's try using Edge browser for this. And it's the same error. Our last hope is Firefox, which is a trick to bypass this annoying error. Okay. It is the same error as well. What we can do is type into the address bar, about colon config. Then accept the risk and continue. Then at the search box, type in TLS. This will list the configuration items related to your search. Look for version max and set its value to 3. Then set the version min 1. Now when you go back to the IP address gateway and refresh, we will now have an option for advanced, and we can accept the risk and continue. We are now in the login page of the Fiber Home Router. You can log into the admin page using the admin account with default password of 1234, but this is the basic account, and we don't have access to disabling DHCP, nor setting up a static IP from this account. So we will have to log out, then go to the same IP address, but add a slash FH to the end. Then we are logging with this super admin account. You can pause the video to copy the username and password shown in the screen. On this account we will only have two settings, for restore and debug switch. Go to the debug switch and enable all the three items in the list, for telnet, web admin and omsi debug switches. Just select enable and click apply for each of them. Then we will log out again, and now log in using the admin PLDT account as shown in the screen. Again, you can pause the video to copy them. If the first password does not work, the second one probably will. At first login, you will need to set a new password. Just enter them and click the apply button. Since the credentials has changed, you will need to re-log in using your new password. Ok, we're in. Now let's go to the network tab on the top. Then to the LAN settings in the left. Below the settings list, you will see the DHCP services, we will need to disable this. Drop down the type field, then select disable. Go back to the top. Under the LAN setup, we will need to assign a static IP address for LAN interface. The value should be 192.168.1. Then any number ranging from 1 to 254. But this number should be unique within your network. And since auto assignment of IP starts at the lower numbers, I suggest putting in a high number here. Maybe more than 100 and up. Let's try 111. Then click the apply button. Okay. We're done with the config. Let's now turn off or unplug the router and place it where we want to place it. All right. I have relocated the modem in my room where we have this RJ45 LAN cable. The other end of this is connected to one of the LAN ports of my main PLDT router. We are going to plug it into the LAN 1 of this router to make it a Wi-Fi repeater. There we go. LAN 1 is now lighting, which means we are online. Using my phone, let's do a speed test. Let's of course connect to the Fiber Home Router's SSID first. Ok, we're in. Now let's do a speed test. There we go. The connection is good. We've successfully repurposed this very old PLDT fiber home router to be a Wi-Fi repeater. Great. I have many other same videos in the channel if you are interested, like making a converge router as a PLDT repeater, or converting an old globe DSL router to be a converge repeater. You can check out the video description for the list of related videos you can watch.
If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Millisuge for watching. Nova Air.